Adobe Acrobat Standard and Pro versions both have a tool called the Typewriter Tool, which basically lets you fill out any form as if you were putting that form into a typewriter. To access the Typewriter Tool, if you go to Tools, Typewriter, and select Show Typewriter Toolbar, you'll see this pop-up box. When you select the Typewriter Tool, the first thing you're going to see is what's called the I-beam, and next to the I-beam is a ghosted letter A, and underneath the I-beam is a very faint line. That I-beam is showing you where your text is going to start. So let me line up underneath the Your and click my left mouse, and I can start typing. And I can go over here and click, and just keep filling out my form. Now all of these fields are editable. We can change the size and, of the font and the color, and we'll do that in just a second. But I want to show you how to clean up some of the text if it's in the wrong spot or if you have to correct any text. So if you select the hand tool, and normally you see the hand, what you want to do is hover over the, the actual text and the hand will go away. And then you know you're, you're in the area to be able to select this text. So I'm going to double click on it. When I double click it lets me get into the text and make edits and it also lets me highlight and I can come up here and change the color, I can change the font, I can change the font size with either my pull down box or there's a, there's a quick scale up and scale down feature here. And if I were doing a paragraph I could also decrease the line spacing or increase the line spacing if I was doing a lot of typing here. So that one looks great to me. Let me go to the other one and select it. Change its color, change its size, and let's change its typeface too. Now if I didn't want that text to be there, what I could do is single click on my text. Anytime I single click on a text you'll see the blue bounding box come up. And I can then move this text with the move arrows. If I left click and hold, I can drag this text somewhere else and get it right where I want it. If you need to delete a text box, just select the hand tool, hover over the text you want to delete, single click it, and when you see the blue bounding box, just hit your delete key on your keyboard or select right click and select delete from the menu box. If there's a particular font or style that you prefer to use, instead of having to change it every single time, choose the Select Objects tool. When I single click on it now and right click my mouse, it'll bring up the Properties box. And I can tell it to make this property the default property from now on. I select OK. Now whenever I use the typewriter tool, you'll see it'll start filling in that default property. And again, if your toolbar does not show the hand or the Select Objects arrow, you can access those by going to View, Toolbars, Advanced Editing for the arrow, and Select and Zoom for the hand. Here's a caveat about Acrobat 10, either Standard or Pro version. For some reason, they changed the typewriter toolbar and they made it more confusing how to find it. But basically, if you go to the Tools, Content, you can come down to Add or Edit Text Box, and it looks like a little typewriter and you will be shown the same typewriter toolbar that we saw throughout the video.